Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. As 2015 comes to a close, uh, we wanna share with you guys our favorite things of the year. And as is customary, every year I share with you guys my favorite coffee table books. I'm a big fan of getting tomes of books, especially if it's behind the scenes material. I love that stuff. So here are a few of my favorite coffee table books of this year, starting with Tashin's The Making of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Tashin, a huge publisher of coffee table books, they released a, a, a monolith that was the Making of 2001 limited edition run, sold out immediately. And this year they re-released it um, as a more collectible, as a more, uh, as a more reasonable edition. So this is the new 2001 making of book with uh, tons of behind the scenes photos, construction of sets, pencil drawings for the interiors of the ships, of all the, the production design. It basically is, it has a narrative of the entire production from uh, pre-production to post-production. You have these incredible foldouts. Actually, it's an awkward form factor, a little bit like like a monolith. But you can actually fold out pages. Ooh, if I can fold this out um, to show incredible paintings uh, and artwork from the book. Um, I love this book so much. Uh, I can't get enough of material from 2001. So this is a nice piece of the collection. Uh, two more behind the scenes books came out this year. One for Back to the Future, 30th anniversary, obviously. This is uh, what they call a ultimate visual history. And both this and this Ghostbusters book are visual history. So they tell the story of the movie's production, but use a lot of behind the scenes photographs and uh, visual material. So you have storyboards, you have drawings, and you even have what's cool for a physical book are little art, like reprints of artifacts. So for example, in Back to the Future, here's uh, an envelope from the Do Not Open Till 1985 that Marty McFly leaves with Doc Brown um, before he travels to the future. Uh, Back to the Future, a lot of photos. This one collects uh, the stories from all three of the films. For the Ghostbusters one, it documents both of the films in addition to the animated series. And what's even cooler in this behind the scenes book for Ghostbusters, Adam actually makes an appearance in this. Um, when they talk about Ghostbusters fandom, there's a photo of Adam in his Ghostbusters uniform. We're redoing that, uh, this his costume, his cosplay for next year, and he acknowledges that, but that's so cool from a video we did. With Adam. Um, last year, one of my favorite coffee table books was Star Wars Costumes. Uh, Brandon Allinger from Prop Store wrote that, went to the Lucasfilm archives, took incredible photos of those Star Wars costumes. This year's, we have Star Trek costumes, and it documents mostly from the original series and the movies based on the original cast members, but all the amazing costumes we see in Star Trek, which are really a reflection of the era. It's the eras in which those shows were produced from the late 70s, the 80s, the movies in the 80s, Next Generation in the 90s, and even a little bit of uh, Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Uh, lots of great reference material and great anecdotes from the costume designers. Uh, if you're a cosplayer, you have, for example, one of my favorites, the Borg design from First Contact. If you didn't know, there actually were only a handful of Borg actors. They reused, I think, seven, and they reused them uh, throughout the entire movie. Love stuff like this. And then finally, uh, one book that I got from my coffee table that isn't a behind the scenes book, but it's actually a graphic novel. It is Sandman Overture by Neil Gaiman. Uh, this has been about two years in the making. It was supposed to be a bi-monthly series, but it's a prequel to Neil Gaiman's 75 issue Sandman run uh, back in the 80s and 90s. And it is a prequel. Uh, amazing art by J.H. Williams. And it tells the story of Dream of the Endless, Morpheus and Daniel, and how Dream got to where he was at the beginning of the Sandman series. Can't recommend this enough if you're looking for a new comic book to purchase. So those are my favorite coffee table books of this year. We'll have more of our favorite things on Tested. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up with us on Tested.com. But until then, I'm Norm, and we'll see you next time. Bye.